वेलकम बैक टॉपिक इज हाउ टू सिंप्लीफाई द ग्रामर ओके एज आई टोल यू इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर ग्रामर कैन बी सिंप्लीफाइड इन थ्री स्टेप फर्स्ट स्टेप इज एलिमिनेशन ऑफ यूजलेस सिंबल्स देन सेकेंड स्टेप इज एलिमिनेशन ऑफ एप्सलॉन प्रोडक्शन एंड थर्ड स्टेप इज एलिमिनेशन ऑफ यूनिट प्रोडक्शन सो दिस लेक्चर लेट डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू एलिमिनेट यूजलेस सिंबल्स and explore this how to eliminate useless symbols by solving some examples let me define what is meant by a useless symbol a symbol is useless or else you can say useless variable also generally variables are all are most of the times variables are useless not these terminals as for my knowledge okay see how i can uh, we can define how the symbol is useless is a symbol is useless if it is not deriving any terminal okay or a symbol is useless if it is not reachable from the starting state okay this is the definition for the uh, definition for useless symbol or variable okay see how we can eliminate useless symbols or variables from the grammar let's take this is the first example before moving how to solve this problem let me tell how we can eliminate the useless variables is first way is first way is eliminate eliminate non generating symbols eliminating non generating symbols then second one is uh, second one is eliminate eliminate non reachable symbols eliminate non reachable symbols okay this is the two steps okay then apply these two steps to elim to eliminate now to eliminate useless symbols from this grammar okay the grammar is s tends to capital e s tends to capital a b small a slash b c then capital a tends to small a c slash b capital b capital c capital c then c tends to small a then b tends to small b small c small c then d tends to e then e tends to d then f tends to e first identify what are the variables in the grammar i mean what is the non terminals in the grammar okay see non terminals is i mean variables or variables equals to what are the variable these are all the variables capital s capital a capital b capital c capital d then capital e capital f also capital e comma capital f these are all the variables okay as for first step first step try to identify what are the non generating symbols meaning i mean non generating symbol means a symbol which is not generating any terminals okay that symbol is useless symbol we can we can remove that symbol and associate it production also okay see first check it out so let's take f so f is generating terminal e so this is the useful i mean it is the generating symbol then e is deriving d so e is also generating symbol then d tends to e then e tends to d so anyhow d through e is generating terminal that is d i mean small d so d is also generating symbol then coming to the c c tends to a c directly deriving some terminal so that's why c is also generating symbol then next b tends to small b small c small c anyhow it, it generates terminal or a, a set of terminals like a string okay so it is also generating symbol then a tends to small a c then c can replace with a that's why a is also generating symbol of course s is also generating symbol so there is no non generating symbols all are the generating symbols then another option how to identify useless variables is identify 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 what are the non reachable symbols i mean a symbol is non reachable i mean how you can say a symbol is non reachable symbol is from the starting symbol if any symbols are not reachable directly or through some other symbols we can say that symbol is a non reachable symbol okay see uh, write in order all symbols this is a very simple manner okay so first first which one is uh, s is starting then capital a then capital b then capital c then capital d then capital e then capital f okay i written all 
variables in the grammar. I mean non terminals in the grammar. Now take S tends to A, B. So A and B directly reachable to the starting symbol. So A is reachable and B is also reachable. Then by seeing this production, S tends to B, C. So B is reachable. Then C is also reachable. Okay. Then A tends to small a capital C. I mean from A, C is reachable. Then from A, C is also reachable. Then next from A, B, C, B is reachable. C is also reachable. Then from A, B is reachable. C is also reachable. Then next then what is next i mean b tends to, then d tends to e d tends to e so from d i mean from d e is reachable then e tends to d f tends to e there is no production now uh, the figure clearly shows what are the variables that are reachable to the starting symbol starting symbol a is reachable b is reachable c is reachable okay what are the non reachable variables in the grammar so d e f okay now you can eliminate these are all the useless symbols in the grammar now we can eliminate d and its associated productions e and its associated productions f and its associated productions after eliminating now i am going to eliminate d so we can eliminate this entire production d tends to e then e is also useless so you can eliminate e tends to d f is also useless you can eliminate f tends to e then what is possibility to eliminate is there any possibility to eliminate okay is there any possibility so what are the grammar after simplification is the what is the grammar after let me write here so what is the grammar after simplification is the s yes tends to s yes tends to capital a capital b small a slash b c then a tends to small a capital c slash b c c then c i mean next c tends to small a then b tends to small b small c small c okay so this is the grammar before simplification i mean before identifying the useless variables this is the grammar grammar after i after removing useless variables i mean useless symbols from the grammar okay there is how many productions one two three four five six seven production here how many productions one two three four only Okay, here there are how many variables in the grammar? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here we have only how many variables in the grammar? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 is enough. This is how you can reduce the grammar after identifying, after eliminating useless variables. Okay, let's try this same example, same explanation with another example. This is one of the example. S tends to A, B slash C, A. S tends to B, C slash A, B. A tends to small A. C tends to small A, capital B slash B. Okay. Now I'm asking you to reduce the grammar. Meaning that, I mean, reduce the grammar by eliminating useless variables. I mean, by eliminating useless symbols. Okay. See, first identify, you know, how to eliminate, how to identify useless variables is first one is uh, eliminate non-generating symbols. Meaning that the variables which is not generating any terminals or string then second one is eliminate non reachable symbols meaning that the identify what are the variables or symbols that is not reachable to the starting symbol okay so both are all called as the useless variables we can identify we can remove those variables along with their productions not only variables okay see first write down what are the variables in the grammar okay see v equals to capital s then capital a then capital b then capital c capital S, capital A, capital B, capital C. Okay. These are all the variables in the grammar. Okay. So as for the first step, eliminate non-generating symbols. Okay. You see, what are the non-generating symbols? C generate B directly. Okay. So it is the generating symbol. Yes. Then next. Next coming to the B. You see, is it B is generate any symbols? Is there any possibility to generate B any symbols? No, it is not generating. You see anywhere it is it generates through directly or indirectly. It's not generating. Okay. So B is the non-generating symbol. Okay. Then coming to the A. A generate capital A generate small a. I mean capital A directly generate A. Then next. So S tends to A. So S A can replace with A. Then uh, B is not generating then C tends to 
small b a tends to small a so it's generating so s is also generating okay so what is the non generating symbol in the grammar b non generating symbol is the grammar is b okay now remove the variable b and this associated productions from the grammar so what are those a b then next b c then next a b then next a b okay after removing what is the grammar s tends to c capital a then next small a tends to capital a tends to small a then c tends to small b okay now you can check is all symbols are reachable from the starting symbol by using second step so write down s is one s is one variable then capital a is one variable capital c is one variable s tends to c a so c is reachable a is also reachable okay so both are reachable i mean there is no non reachable variables okay so after eliminating useless variables from the grammar this is the grammar this is the grammar there how many productions 1 2 3 4 here how many productions is enough 1 2 3 there how many variables in the grammar 1 2 3 4 here how many variables is enough 1 2 3 okay let's take one more example the example given grammar is s tends to small a capital a small a a tends to small b capital b capital b b tends to small a small b c tends to small a b okay now my question is eliminate the useless symbols from this grammar okay so you know there are two steps how to eliminate the useless symbols from the grammar first step is identify eliminate non generating symbols the second step is eliminate non reachable symbols okay so first write out what is the variables i mean what are the non terminals in the grammar so v equals to v equals to capital s capital a capital b capital c okay so let's follow the first step what is the first step eliminate non generating symbols identify is there any symbols that is not at all generating terminals or strings either directly or through some other derivation process or through some other variables okay c c tends to ab so c is directly deriving some terminals that's why it is generating symbol okay c is generating symbol then next b tends to ab so b is directly generating some terminal string what is that terminal string is ab if forget about either single terminal or string i mean a string is also a collection of terminals that's why it is also generating symbol i mean generating variable then next a tends to a tends to small b capital b capital b if i replace b with to small ab replace with b with to small ab it generates b ab ab so somehow a is also generating symbol because a is also generating some string okay so a is also generate then s tends to small a capital a small a if i replace a with to a with and so on s is also generating symbol so s is also generating symbol so there are no non generating symbols all are the generating symbols this is the first step then second step is eliminate non reachable symbols okay so we have to identify is there any symbol that are all not reachable to the starting symbol in the production okay so write down all variables s is first variable then capital a then capital b then capital c by seeing this s tends to small a capital a small a so a is reachable to the s through this production so we can write like this okay then next a tends to b b so now b is reachable to the a now how we can write is like this then b tends to ab then c tends to ab okay by seeing this now you, we can understand a is reachable to the s b is reachable to the s through a okay this is this is reachable this is reachable what is not reachable not reachable is the c so now we can eliminate symbol i mean variable c from the grammar not only c in its it, its associated productions also we can eliminate okay so now what is c production c a b so this is we can eliminate after eliminating after eliminating what is the final grammar is s tends to small a capital a small a 
then a tends to small b capital b capital b then b tends to small a b so this is the grammar after eliminating useless variables how to eliminate useless variables i'm repeating how we can eliminate useless variables in only two steps first step is identify what is the non-generating symbol and second one is identify what are the non-reachable symbols from the starting symbol